my name is Katie welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be talking about character voice and how to make sure your characters are distinct from each other especially when you're doing multiple POVs or points of view in your story and you also want to make sure yours is not a boring Betty or I can't think of a dude version but yeah <laughs> so first things first maybe not first thing but uh, here's a list of things that aren't in order but you can write down a list of key phrases maybe they have a certain word they use like how we say cool maybe they have something else maybe they have a different type of cuss word I put that into one of my stories and that's like her tagline maybe they have like a hobby or some type of interest that makes them have key metaphors maybe they relate everything back to gaming or back to their favorite tv show like i do with friends <laughs> maybe they have like relate it back to music maybe the way they talk the way they explain things always has a certain theme you can make their mannerisms different some people love to cross their arms some people stick their hands in their pockets some people like me twirl their hair a lot you can have people that are fidgety that like to lick their lips before they talk things that are just going to make your character different so when they appear on page your audience already knows who that person is and that kind of rolls into gestures and that can even go into like their um like gentlemanliness like do they open doors for people do they help old ladies cross the street um do they help you with heavy objects gestures like do they go, this is more, I guess, serving, like are they servant hearted? Do they go and get you a cup of coffee as well as themselves? Do they make sure that you're cared for or are, is the person that you're writing like very just like them focused? Um, take in mind what type of personality they are and you can do tons of those like Enneagram, is that how you say it? Different personality tests or Hogwarts tests, the Myers-Briggs, any of that stuff that's going to really help you define like what they are like and what they aren't like. You can even do that for like horoscopes. Um, and by their month basically go by how they are i'm a capricorn i'm type a i'm a total stubborn goat to a t and so that would be really easy for me to write in a book and you just like study these personalities and characteristics and just make sure you like got your person down if it helps to like just write their pov at a time you might want to do that or if you have things that trigger you like music or candles like a scent or whatever that's going to help you get in their brain be sure to do that maybe their gesture like if they're in a relationship or something is always to touch like their person's elbow like always be there or the small of their back or like some type of like if they're five love languages if there's this touch they might always be touching um and you can just think of things like that and even the five love languages if you want to make them have words of affirmation um anything like that that's just gonna like widen their personality and who they are and set them apart from other characters and with like the Myers-Briggs and different things like that you'll want to keep in mind what their fears are what their wants are and what their needs are because this is going to be how and why they react the way they do so if they're scared of failure they're gonna like go into themselves and not try new things stay in their comfort zone and things like that so if someone's asking them out if they're being asked to a party they're probably going to deny it a thousand times and um maybe like if there's a friendship trying to form or whatever that person's gonna have to come and have like a little house party watching tv in their pjs or something if someone is being bullied and then like how they act or respond are they going to go save the day or have they been bullied in the past and like shrink back from that or because they've been bullied in the past are they going to go and help this guy like or girl battle their bullies or whatever however like their backstory and their history is going to affect what they're doing as well if they've overcome it or if they're still deep down in it and um, just think of all that stuff when you're working them out not everyone's story is going to be the same especially when you start piling on these layers of backstory family life friend life um, what has shaped them as a person and character and this is what's really great about plotting is because you can like figure out your characters ahead of time I say this and I'm a total pantser and I figure out my characters as I go and if that's you that's okay 
What you're going to want to do in the second draft of your book is go through and really beef up and make sure their mannerisms and differences stand out. I had where two of my girls spoke the same way, like it was really hard to tell who was who. And so I went in and I made one more like assertive and outgoing and I made my main character um, more reserved and like she had one-liners but they were only here and there maybe they were whispered because she wasn't comfortable like saying them out loud yet and so um, and then her friend I made more like feisty she was into boxing she was like let's go do this like she grew up in a family with all boys and so um, that really helped me make them different and with that with their like what they're saying Make sure to make that different. Are they chatty? Do they give one word answers? Do they joke a bunch? Do they grumble? Are they always serious? Make sure that their dialogue stands out as well. So that if they're talking, you won't even need a tag to figure out who is talking. Those are my biggest tips and I just would encourage to write a draft and figure it out. Um, you can sit and plot and outline all you want, but eventually you'll need to be writing and sometimes characters will change on you in the book as well. So like that's how I found out the personality of this other one going deeper into their backstory and finding out that hey she grew up with brothers she's used to fighting and making sure she's not taken advantage of and she really loves to find hiding places where she can read books and get away from all her brothers so it was like really great like building for that and a lot of stuff like that doesn't come to me until the second draft and after I've written my first fast draft I'm like oh I can go start putting these in plugging these into the beginning and that really helps lengthen your novel as well if you're an under writer like me but I really hope these tips helped leave comments down below on ones that you like to include or ones of mine that you found super helpful for you I have only tried dual POV so far and I don't see myself doing multiple POV in the future but theirs were pretty easy because it was a dude and a girl and the girl was gung-ho on making stuff right and the guy was like I just want to go by myself so they were very easy although both of them started out very angry and like that same like tone that I had to flip the switch on one of them so that they weren't the same but you'll figure that out when you're writing you will click that that's what you're doing and when you do a read through you'll be like these people are the same people and sometimes if you have side characters that are like that you might end up just merging them or cutting a character completely and that's totally okay don't freak out <laughs> um, you can just don't like delete anything forever either just cut out a section or whatever the character you're getting rid of or merging and put it in a separate document for you to have later because those might be scenes or dialogue or whatever that you might want in a different part of your story or in a different story altogether and then they're already right there for you but yeah sorry now I'm rambling on like more things but <laughs> I hope they all enjoyed this video please give it a like if you liked it hit subscribe if you haven't already I'm going to try to give more tips like this as well as writing vlogs so I hope that y'all enjoy ring that bell too so you'll be notified of when new videos come out and I will see you next time